Hi, I'm Sarah from Erland Creations, and today we have Lois being our guest speaker at our Setopia Sewing Club. But I want to show you, Lois is actually one of our Stitching Cosmos graduates and also an Embroidery Essentials graduate. Yes, I so I, we're going to show you just a few of her quilts. Lois is talking about binding today, and what did you... Um, what are some of the different binding things that you are talking about? Oh, wow, I've been talking about scallops, prairie points, uh, facing a quilt, couching in your quilt, uh, double bind on your quilt. Oh, it's just... It never ends. It never ends. So you were saying that when you start learning to do bindings, it's like endless. You just keep learning and then there's yes. more and more yes. techniques. So let's just start by um, showing your Stitching Cosmos quilt. So here we'll just step back. What was some of the inspiration when you were taking this? When I was taking the class, I sh you should really back up. This started out to be an all purple and gray quilt. That's right. I had purple yes. and gray blocks and I did not like the direction that that was going. So hence I started digging a little more in the closet, then the satins came out. So then I started mixing the satins with the cottons. Nice. And it just took off for me from there. Every class, you know, when we would do couching, the, the piping, the, the buttonholes, the, the tasseling, and the paper piecing, it just, it just, it spoke to me. And it never ends there either. It, ne it never ends. <laughs> yes. Now this has got to hang at which quilt show? I entered this quilt into the Minnesota Quilt Show and I received honorable mention. Yay! Oh, that was just the most giddiest moment of my yes. life. <laughs> yes. What an honor. And to see, and you do all your own quilting I too. do all my own quilting. So yes, I do. Very beautiful. Good. Yes. All right, which quilt should we show next? You want to do the... No, let's yeah. do the Dresden. So this was actually, you were doing this for, you were showing one of your binding techniques. Just Yes, this is uh, a binding technique by Adida Sitar. Yes. Cutting it at one and three quarter inches. Mm, little yeah, smaller. Yeah, little small, and it's all in the, the way it's folded and pressed. It mm -hmm. just makes such a perfect edge. If you like this, I'll put a link below this video where you can find this particular pattern. It's actually one that I've enjoyed doing. And right. I love the way you did just the solids and then the quilting in right. the circles. So. Right, just in circles. This looks like an orphan block left over from a Stitching Cosmos. <laughs> it is, it's an orphan block. I've got a few of these around. Yes, yes. I do. But they're so elegant just as its own little as standalone own. Yes. art piece. Yes. Good. Yes. All right, now I also mentioned you were an Embroidery Essentials yes, graduating class. I always remember this because Lois was the only one I ever saw that did the uh, 30s prints. And I, I didn't know how it was going to turn out, and I just kind of let her do it. And, of course, I love it. It's so happy and springy. What was your favorite? Um, oh, let's see, you were talking binding. That's right. We were, I know it's kind of, um, might be a little hard to see, but I see... I did couching in the ditch there. I took two two embroidery, six strands of each color, the blue and the pink, and then I made a monk's cord that we had learned in one of the stitching cosmos. Yes, in yes. the stitching cos, and then I couched it in there. It looks amazing. Okay, so back to the embroidery. You were mastering your embroidery machine, and so there's lots of different techniques in here. So if you do want to master your embroidery machine. Check out embroidery-essentials.com. And gosh, is it, oh, you got your label on there. I have, I wrote on here 15 techniques. You did, 2000, and 2015. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. Oh, so we what was it. my favorite? Was oh, favorite? I loved this confetti, putting that confetti in that honeycomb. Yeah, that that was fun. a lot of fun. Good. Now we have uh, two other quilts. Let's end on that one. So let's do this one. What okay. was your inspiration on this? <laughs> on the window spots. This is, that's so the name adorable. of this one. It is called Window Spots. Um, I think if I remember right, I bought it as a kit. It had the holes in it and, and everything. The, the holes were all cut. <laughs> and it was it. just a matter of just random placing. Yes. Just fun. And then almost like a matchstick quilting type yep. technique. And on modern quilts, that's just so easy to finish up. And then do you, um, what was your binding on this? So a little bit of it's a, a facing. Oh. It's called a facing. Yeah. 
So, so, actually, so nothing is, no binding is on the front. All of the binding facing is done on the back. So the whole edge is hidden on the back side and it just looks like the lines make it continue on. Just makes it so clean looking. Yes. Good. All right, now this goes back a while and I forgot the backstory about this. So if you've ever seen my video called Kate's Big Binding, uh, we do have a pattern available on Blueprint. Again, we'll put the links below the video for you. But I had totally forgot the backstory <laughs> on this. So what is Kate's Big Binding? Um, this is what it turned out to be. But you had, how did the story start? It started in Chamberlain. Okay, so I was at a sewing retreat here in South Dakota. Yes. And I bought bought the kit and I do believe it was the Des Moines quilt show. I don't remember the quilt shop or anything like that. So I and I remember them kind of showing it me there. This is the way you do this, this is what and it was really fast. And I said, okay, well as long as the directions yeah. are in there, I'll figure it out. So I took it along to the retreat. Hence I could not figure it out. Enter Sarah. I said, Sarah, I help me. I couldn't help get out me. either. I, I think we spent an entire evening yep. and we were on the phone with, with the lady there from was. the quilt shop. And then I think, I don't think we ever did figure it out that, that well, I think evening. we threw it out. Yep. <laughs> we I, threw I out the technique. Out. But we had this great idea that we could kind of find something that would replicate it. So the, the concept is, is a great way. It's a big binding and it's thick. So I know you can't feel it, but it's solid. Yes. It has some weight to it. I love it. And you're, you took the, was this a yard of fabric? A yard on the front, yard on the back, two yards for the binding. Yes. And yes. then, yeah, and a great way to use your decorative stitches when you come yes. around, yes. you simple quilt it, you slide it in. Uh, but we do have a video to show you all those different yeah. steps. We, but we, I, we're holding it upside oh, down. Yeah, I, I want the that. wagons going there this way. There we go. We got there. the wagons. Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> <laughs> so we have um, we've covered a lot of ground. We've known each other for years. Yes. It's been a pleasure yes. having you here at our store. And, and it's been fun. It's so been enjoyable. So fun to see where you've come from. Yes. From sewing on your dining room table with mm -hmm. an older machine until yes. many years later. Yes. Having the biggest, the best sewing machine. It's been awesome. And quilting your own quilts. Yes. Awesome. That's... So thank you so much for wow. coming and being our guest. And so if you are interested in learning more, check out our YouTube video and visit us at sewingmastery.com and also at our store, Heirloom Creations and heirloomcreations.net. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.